afternoon. Hi. I smell raspberry. Oh, that's your good conditioner. Somebody's got a date. Josh has got a date. Who are you going out with? Can a guy have freshly scented hair without getting the third degree? <laughs> well, not when you are in your new chinos. Who's your new girlfriend? Um, stop. It's only our second date. <gasps> You're going steady and you didn't even tell me? Why, Joshy? Why? <laughs> I think you're answering your own question. Where'd you meet her, if you don't mind my asking? Yoga. Oh, him you tell, but your mother you treat like dirt. It's no big deal. After class, we started talking, and today we are meeting for coffee at King Caffeine. Nice place. I built their bean display. <laughs> so, when do I get to meet this special woman? Oh, uh, let me think about that. How about never? But it takes a mother to judge who loves you as much as I do. Mom, I'm going out on a date with her, not you. I'm sorry, but I don't need your help. However... Will 20 do? I love you, Mommy. <laughs> Joshua met a girl. That's great. Yeah, it is great. Hey, why don't you and I go out for coffee? No, Fran. Mm. Allison. Do you think that it would be wrong of me to spy on your brother at the coffee shop? Maybe a little. Oh, who asked you? Get in the car. Raspberry. She is cute. I know. Whoever thought your brother had so much game? Oh my God. Vanessa. Okay, just bear in mind there's always that one normal kid in the family, like the one you never saw in the Osbournes. I'm that kid. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise to see you here. We were on our way to oh, the drive Oh, just stop it! <laughs> so, who's this pretty girl? Hi, I'm Heather. Hi, I'm Fran, Josh's mom. Oh, my God, you look like you could be a sister. <laughs> Sadly, that role is taken. I'm very sorry about this. You can take our seats because we were just leaving. What's what showing us the gate? We've hardly said hello. Hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't you invite Heather to our house for dinner tonight? Isn't that great, Allison? Oh, uh, yes, Mother. Dinner tonight. <laughs> that would be awesome. Six o'clock? Works for me. See you then. You were here like 10 seconds. <laughs> Personal best. You know, if I said it myself, I'd be bragging. Your father's half Jewish and your mother's half Jewish, too? That makes a whole Jew. It works for me. <laughs> Mom. Huh? Three feet rule. Josh, your mother's great. I don't know what you were worried about. Oh, he was a born warrior. When they cut the cord, he rolled it up so no one would trip. <laughs> Joke. Excuse me, which way is the ladies' room? Oh, come on, I'll show you. Thanks. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, I'll tell you, Josh, this Heather is a keeper. I don't know any guy that wouldn't want her. And tonight, it wasn't so awful, right? Well, it wasn't Aunt Shirley in the hot tub awful. <laughs> I guess every once in a while, you have a good idea. Oh, I always have good ideas. And FYI, I begged Aunt Shirley to keep her bathing suit on. Hey, babe, sorry I'm so late. Hi, sweetie. Mm. Mwah. Guess what? Josh brought home a girl for dinner tonight. She's upstairs now. Bringing the lady home, Josh. Classy. Mom invited her after she accidentally bumped into us on purpose. Franny. <laughs> oh, here she is now. Riley? Heather? Oh, my God. Wow. Do you guys know each other? 
Yeah, we used to date. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you two dated, huh? <laughs> Only like a million years ago. <laughs> That's so funny, because you don't look a million years old. <laughs> So, you dated Riley? Yeah, Josh talked about his mother and a guy named Riley, but I didn't put it together. This is amazing. Totally amazing. Do you remember that time you ran across the street from your place to mine in your boxers? No, you ran across the street in my boxers. <laughs> I am so happy I stayed home tonight. So, you dated Riley? Yes, Josh, that seems to be the news of the day. You know, I thought I saw Josh get into a truck that looked like yours after yoga. <laughs> oh, does he still hum when he brushes his teeth? Yes, he does. And how adorable that you should know that. <laughs> and does he still tense up right before that last little... Ah, uh, tick-tock, tick-tock! <laughs> You're gonna miss the movie. Watch out, Josh. She talks back at the screen. Hey, only when it's scary and people are stupid, then I'm all like, don't go in the basement, he's got a hatchet. Hi, <laughs> have a good time. So, to be clear, you dated Riley? <laughs> wow, what a small world. Did you make me a plate? No. <laughs> so, uh, when exactly did you date this, Heather? A few years ago. Yeah, I find it funny that you never mentioned it. Well, I dated a lot of girls, Fran. I can't remember every one. Yeah. <laughs> Except you did tell me about Susan and Brooke and Jennifer and Jenna and Jenny and the one with the nose ring. Oh, Jen. Right. <laughs> but you know, I'm going to nip this right here. Heather and I were no big deal. OK, fine. Mm. The thing is, <laughs> I've been kind of thinking of us as being the same, but when I meet somebody that you used to date, it reminds me that I'm a little more seasoned. Honey, you are seasoned just right. Which reminds me, I'm starved. I gotta get a bacon cheeseburger. You want one, babe? No, I'm good. Mm, you certainly are. Now you see that? That is what we call a catch. Well, this was a funny kind of a crazy coincidence, huh? A crazy, pretty nauseating coincidence. <laughs> that Heather hears Josh tell her about some guy named Riley. Then the next thing you know, she's dating Josh and hugging Riley in my kitchen. Are you saying she's just using Josh to get back with Riley? Well, you know I love your brother like a mother. <laughs> but when did you know him to ever snag such a hottie? True. And did you notice how she connived her way to having dinner in our house? Ma, you invited her. You're right, I did. Do you see how super sneaky she is? Mom, don't worry. Heather's not going to be around that long. This is Josh we're talking about. There is no way he's going to want to keep dating someone Riley has slept with like a thousand times. Not helping. And yet, helping. I'm going to bet that Josh is ending it with Heather right now. You know, sweetie, you're right. He's never gonna want to be with somebody that Riley's been with. Josh doesn't even like it when his food touches. I heard Josh come home early last night. He must have broken up with her because I heard him play Mr. Bojangles on his Casio for like an hour. Oh, I am so glad that I have such a smart daughter and such a neurotic son. <laughs> Is it me or was last night a weird night? I don't want to overthink it, but it was weird, right? It was definitely weird. Oh, honey, better times ahead. So, 
Heather and I were at the movies, right? And all I could think about were her and Riley in each other's boxers. <laughs> Let's not think about that. And then I had an epiphany. Oh. She chose me. A completely different type. Dark, passionate, intense. I'm quoting now. So wait a minute, what are you saying? You didn't break up with her? Are you kidding? <laughs> She's a great girl. I want her in my life. Oh, and she wants this brooding poet in hers. Quoting again. Sorry I was wrong. I am only 15. I know, honey. But I expect more from you. What's she doing here? We're picnicking. Hi. Fran, it's so nice to see you again. How's Riley? Not here. The picnic basket's in the basement, probably next to my javelin. Yep, I did track for a while. <laughs> Heather, come on. Let's sit down here and talk, just us girls. So, you like my son Josh, huh? Oh, he's wonderful, and he's so much fun. Last night at the movies, he yeah, was Yeah, brooding so poet, yada yada. <laughs> You and Riley, God, how did you two meet? Oh, it's a funny story. Uh -huh. So it was raining and I got locked out of my apartment and he was such a good neighbor, he helped me break into my bedroom window. So I got him a towel and we slept together. Wow, it sounds like you super really missed a golden opportunity there. Yeah, you know, I guess I kind of hurried things along because I was a virgin. I was eager to get it over with, and I'm so glad that my first time was with Riley. Oh, and he also fixed my window. All I said was, how'd you meet? Hey, Heather, how are you? How, if it isn't the good neighbor? I was just telling Fran about how we first met. And what a fascinating tale it was. Josh, how long does it take to find a damn picnic basket? Hey, you two should come out with us tonight to this club that I know. Oh, you know, <laughs> I think actually we're busy. Well, it's gonna be really good. They play all the old classics from the 90s. I love oldies. <laughs> Music, babe. So, are you in? Well, uh, actually, Heather, I have a little bit of a headache. Well, then Riley could just go with us. I'll take some aspirin. <laughs> Picnic, milady. Josh, guess what? We're all double dating tonight. I was in the basement for less than one minute. <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> Heather wants you back. She what? I had my suspicions, but when I found out that you took her virginity, well, that's all I needed to know. Really? She didn't tell me that. Guess it's kind of a big deal. Yes, it's a big deal. Do you remember your first car? 77 Chevy Camaro, 355 big block. Well, that's how women remember their first time. You were her big block. <laughs> And now she wants you back. And that's why she's dating Josh. You could be overthinking this, babe. No, I'm not. A woman never forgets her first time. I married mine. And it took 21 years and the law firm of Schwartz, Schwartz and Cohn to forget him. <laughs> and he was a jackass. Francine, don't you think I'd know if she wanted me back? No, 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 no. OK, if she wanted me back so bad, why did she invite both of us to go out with her and Josh? Because she wants you to see her at a club, all dancing and glistening. Remember in the beginning, when I would come in from jogging, all glistening, just so? That was fake. Hold jogs and leather pants and a tube top! <laughs>
Okay, Josh, come on, let's go to the restroom. Why? Because we both have to make. <laughs> you two can reminisce about the good old days. Friend, don't do this. What? I'm just going to the ladies' room with my son. <laughs> Mom, I, I don't have to make. Neither do I. I just wanted to leave them alone so that Heather could hit on Riley. Uh, I'm not sure how to take that. Oh, sweetie, it pains me to tell you this, but Heather is just using you to get back with Riley. And I have to prove it to him because he doesn't realize just how devious a woman can be. <laughs> Do you see why I have to screen all of your dates? No, now I see why people don't double date with their mothers. Wait, hold it! Another stupid man. <laughs> Heather? Would you like to bust a move? Well, I would love to bust a move. So, so, what happened? Absolutely nothing. I told you, Heather and I were no big deal. We just dance and forget all this nonsense. I was wrong. I'm never wrong. I know women. I am a woman. <laughs> Not that kind of song, but. Did you see that tattoo? What tattoo? Riley! Yeah, I'm listening. No. Her tattoo said Riley! Come on! and lift up your shirt. Ma? No, it's cool. <laughs> the back, sweetie. I'm sorry. Apparently, my mother has had one too many. Oh. Why is that there? Oh, because I didn't have room on my shoulder. Look. There's Bill and Al and Joe and Carl and Jorge and Bart. See, a few years ago, I decided to do a living scrapbook of some of the guys that I've known. You couldn't have just collected matchbooks from the restaurants they took you to? <laughs> I know some people find it kind of weird. They but... do. <laughs> well, I'm saving a spot on my ankle for you, Josh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look, a bar. They don't have alcohol. <laughs> I'm thinking he's one of the people that finds it kind of strange. Heather. I want you to look me straight in the eye and you tell me that you don't want Riley back. No way. Do I look like a one-guy girl? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> right. I'm a free spirit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm very flattered, but I promised Josh that I wouldn't stick my nose into his business. <laughs> Wow, this certainly is an odd evening, isn't it? <laughs> Gee, I think that we should order some pepper poppers. I hear they're deliciously cheesy. What? I think somebody should admit she was wrong. Okay, okay. I was what you said. Wrong. Fine. I was wrong and you were right. Uh, and I happen to be seasoned enough to be able to admit it. I can also make it up to you. What do you think about me putting Riley on my backside? Honey, you don't have to get a tattoo. Who said anything about a tattoo? <laughs> Don't worry, Josh. We'll have plenty of other fish in the sea. Yeah. Hi. Would you like to dance? Me? Sure. 
Brenda, dental technician, 25, and she also lives with the mother.